Naomi K. Daniels and today I am going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me video. Today I am going to be talking about um, bad comments on YouTube channels or just in general. Let's just get into But I will try not to be too weird because I don't know. I was born with weirdness. Um, I guess she probably wanted me to talk about like, probably wanted me to talk about like how to deal with bad comments. Um, so bad comments, uh, yes they're bad, but in a way, how, did, how do I deal with them? Um, you see, if it's bad comments on my channel, I don't really deal with them, really, like, you know, it's just a, like, I obviously get all y'all, I get everybody's notifications, and I see like every single one of them. But like, sometimes like, if it's bad comments, it is my channel, like you guys have to remember, it's my channel. So, if I receive a bad comment that I don't like, backspace and delete, bitch. Because, um, I've been bullied before, like everybody has probably been bullied like once in their life, but like, my bullying was real bad, like I've been bullied really really bad before, like I've been bullied since grade 4, even now like indirectly I'm bullied. Cause people don't really say shit to your face now because they're too scared. Um, Cause y'all know if it's Twitter, y'all know if it's Twitter, I'ma come at you. I'm a lion. I'm a lion, bitch. I'm fucking crazy. So basically, like, bad comments. If it's like something really, really stupid and childish, and you know that's not your personality, like whatever that person is talking is not really who you are. Like, um, don't even give into it. You know, just brush it off, delete it. That's really what I'm about. Like, I don't care. I don't give into that comment. And you know, it's funny that like, the people who are even giving you bad comments might be like one of your like relatives or someone that doesn't like, you know, like you or something like that. Could even be your fucking friend. Like, you never know. Could even be your friend. To be honest, most of the time people give you bad comments because like it's either they can't do what you're doing, they're not confident enough, they want to be you. It goes along those lines, you know. Um, most of the time, it's just because they don't like you, and for someone not to like you means you're doing something right. That's my opinion on bad comments. Um, do you guys like what I use on my eyebrows? I've been using this product since like 2015, and I'm in love with it. I know I keep like jumping from topic to topic, but like, girls, I need to tell you, um, y'all need to go get the Anastasia Beverly Hills um dip brow pomade and like um ebony. That's what I use. I think it's on me. Probably, I'm probably right. But yeah, y'all need to go cop that because that is like the bomb duty right now. Swear down. Um, so yeah. Um, so I ran a poll on my Twitter and I asked you guys like what kind of topics you guys want me to rant about. And this was for the chit chat get ready with me. Um, I gave you guys three ideas. I said Kylie Jenner. I can't remember who was next, but I will put the poll somewhere up here. I asked you guys to um, tell me which one you guys want me to talk about, and the one that was like mostly ranked was Kylie Jenner. So I will talk to you guys about Kylie Jenner right now. For those of you who um, really love Kylie Jenner, you might want to like log out now, because I swear to God, if you guys comment on my freaking channel, just don't, just don't. Don't waste your time. Just sign out now. Um, <clears throat> basically, yeah. Don't be on my channel. After you watch this video, don't be on my channel. I'm trying to say that like I'm jealous of her or something. Because everything I have is natural. Okay? There's... I'm not even going to talk about this because I'm not jealous of Kylie Jenner. No freaking way. Like, no fucking way. Because... This? Let's give it to me my god. Okay, I'm not a freaking surgeon. Okay, this is natural. My ass is fucking natural. Okay, okay, okay. My thighs are freaking natural. I read an article that said that Kylie Jenner was being credited for um starting the trend of big lips. Okay. Now that pissed me off because I know like big lips have been in the game for a long time, and it's a black facial feature okay it is natural black people have this but what really pisses me off yeah off is that like why is it that when that feature is on a black woman we get like we get mocked for our big puppy lips and but when the feature is on a white woman they get praised for it that pisses me off okay 
That's what pisses me off about it. And Kylie Jenner did not start the whole big lips trend, okay? It's been in the game for a time, okay? All the trends that people are saying she started aren't even legit. Like, they're not even legitimate because she didn't start any of them, like this big lips thing. That big lips thing really pissed me off, yo. I don't know damn well she didn't start that shit. Um, now on to her lip kit. I don't get why Kylie Jenner herself, she said that she doesn't like makeup, but she started this whole lip kit thing, yeah? Not just that, um, why are the freaking lip kits $30? When you can get a knockoff from like, ColourPop that's like $6 or something. Why are her lip kits so freaking expensive? For no damn reason. For no damn reason. They're just so expensive. They're freaking 30 bucks. 30 bucks for a lipstick. It's what? <laughs> oh my god. And then I also hate like how Kylie Jenner is always like, You guys have to love yourself, okay? You need to love yourself so much. Like you have to just love yourself. Loving yourself is key. It's Wait, you don't even love yourself. Doesn't even love herself, but she tells other people to love themselves. If you love yourself, you wouldn't be out here trying to get like freaking big lips, okay? You would stick to your open wind thing on your face. If you have big lips, if you're born with big lips, it's a natural thing for you. You don't have ass. If your freaking legs are connected to your back, then you don't have it. You just don't have it. You aren't blessed with it. Your body is a temple of God. In the Bible, God says not to destroy the temple of God. Your body is a temple of God. If you really love yourself, you wouldn't be out here having all these surgeons work on your body to just... It's not enhancing what you already have. You don't have it. It's really not. Like, that's my opinion on Kylie Jenner, but you know, everybody has different opinions. But let me just finish my highlighting and contouring bubbles. If you have a white face, just stop like right here because if you extend it so far, it makes you look, makes your face like more wide than it already is. So, yeah. Tip. And now we gonna bake with the banner powder. You get your wedge or whatever, you know sponge you have today i'm gonna use the spade sponge and i'm just gonna you know big 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 let me just quickly contour guys okay because my contouring is key if my contour isn't fire then like you know for that day like i'm really not fire like you don't have to do what one beauty guru just says on youtube like do this, do this, do this, and do this, cause you know, this, this, that. Just whatever you freaking wanna do. At one point in my life, I always wanted to do like what everybody was doing, but you know. After high school, a lot of shit changed for me. One, like, I used to not speak a lot. Like, I used to like, be so quiet. One day in your life, a bitch will cross you. And you need to flip the fuck out. And you need to let them know who the fuck is boss. Okay, and that's what happened to me. I flipped the fuck out. After I put certain bitches in their place, you know, you lose a, f you lose a lot of friends, but you gain some. Okay, you gain some. And the one thing you mostly gain out of all of that shit is respect, okay? You're not some, don't be like some little scared pussy ass bitch, you know? You need to let people know what's up. It was really funny, like, people used to think like I was just like weak, 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 weak weak girl like so let us take off all these um bed and eye powder on my face okay let me look slay as fuck okay not go slay do y'all see my me my sister made on my um twitter if y'all guys if you guys saw that me like <laughs> y'all better start using it because it's dope as shit I really don't mind. A lot of people have made, like I've seen a lot of memes that some people send me of me, but that one like eats the cake. Not because she's my sister or anything, but it's just like it actually eats the cake, like I love it. 
I'm gonna use that a lot on Twitter. People like make memes and like take it as a bad thing. Like memes are fucking memes. Like they're freaking memes. You have to think of everything as a fucking joke, okay? Everything's a joke. When it comes to somebody talking about your race, that's not a freaking joke, okay? Thank God I don't live in America. Thank God some people that I know in this freaking country don't stay in America because you go to America and you start talking about somebody's race. You don't say the word nigga in America, fam. Fam. I will, I'll be the one hosting your funeral for you, okay? I'm going to use Fudge in Anastasia Beverly Hills as my lipstick color. So, I'm always about like those dark colors. kind of like it. It's okay. Now, lastly, I always forget to put on this camera, but you know, I'm not going to forget. Uh, last thing, just brush that mascara on. Y'all, I really, really dig my freaking eyeliner today. Like, it's popping. I'm popping. It's popping. <laughs> there comes the weirdness. I'm stop. You know what I also don't like? You know what I also really don't like? Like, those YouTubers that are always on YouTube. Like, they come on YouTube. And I swear to God, it's like... Even people that I know in real life, like some YouTubers I know in real life, they come on YouTube and they try to do this like no swearing thing on their channel and then they just start acting all like, you know, placed and perfect. Cause like they're out here looking for someone to marry them and shit like that. They just act so like, they act so perfect on YouTube and do this like no swearing thing on YouTube and shit like that. But then you see them in person and they're like the most ghettoist like. Why? Why? Just be yourself. Like, you know what? Like, you can't like be all poised and perfect on freaking YouTube, and then you actually see the guy you're gonna marry, and he was watching your YouTube channel like previously, and then you marry him, and then you just release the lion from nowhere. Why? Why? Like, and for those girls who do that whole no swearing, poised and perfect shit, like. Exactly, like I really hate when people like try to tell me not to swear on my channel. I'm like, first, whose name is it on the channel? Naomi Kate Daniels, okay? But like, honestly, if you don't swear on your own channel, that's all you. Like, I'm not complaining. It just really, really annoys me when people do that shit. Like, I know a girl on YouTube at the moment. Watching her on YouTube and talking to her like for real, two different people. Two different people. And I don't business with that shit. I don't business with that shit. Because, you know, people like that feel like when they freaking stab you. So, y'all can see my freaking edges right now. They're so rough. But you know what? I'm not gonna touch it because I'm sitting at home. I hope you guys like my chit chat, get ready with me video. And um, if you guys have anything else you guys wanna see, always, always, always hit me up on Twitter, girl. Like, I always have my Twitter on, on all my videos. So, if you guys have anything else y'all want to see, hit me up on Twitter and it will be done, okay? It will be done. Like, I have so much free time this summer. Anything you send will be done, okay? <laughs> um, I'm actually so freaking weird, like, but you know what? That's why your man loves me. I'm such a bitch. Bye. I'm like really. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, Quinsu. Oh my god. But yeah, like, I hope you guys like my chit chat. Get ready with me video.